Thanks for joining me as I uh, prepare to bottle some tomatoes. It's uh, summer 2020 and it's been an outstanding year. It's September, towards the end of the year, but we still have more to put in jars. And this is the process that I use. I'm following a method that I learned from my mom and dad who are in this picture here. It's pretty simple. I pick the tomatoes and I grow early girl. That's my preferred tomato, not only for bottling, but also for a salad. They're sweet. They ripen early and they keep going until October, sometimes even into November. So first I rinse them and I put them to the left. Then I put them in a container like this with water and some white vinegar for about well, a minute. And then I put them to the right and let them drain. Uh, the ones on the counter have some imperfections, so I just pay uh, more attention to them. And, and then the ones over here on the far left, I had to pick these because it's going to rain in the next couple of days. And sometimes the rain cracks them. I'm also battling um, some um, uh, creatures like uh, opossums and raccoons. So I pick them and I put them in a brown paper bag like this with several bananas and in a few days they'll be ripe and ready for uh, another batch. Uh, cut the tomato in half. Remove uh, whatever imperfections might be there uh, inside and outside. You can start training your nose if you've never done this before and just smell a tomato. A nice fresh ripe tomato has a wonderful smell and if there's some, um, some rot in there, you'll smell that as well and just get rid of it all. Uh, turn it like this on its center and uh, cut it into cubes. And then um, put them in la padella, come questa qua. And uh, with low heat, when you get to about two inches, you can put that heat on and cover it and bring it to a low boil as you continue cutting and adding. Uh, on a cutting board of this size, I use about four or five tomatoes at a time. Dice them up, and I use a nice serrated knife, and then I add them to the pan, and you've got to keep stirring it. Now, when mom and dad used to do the tomatoes, um, they used to um, do them in different ways. In some jars, they took all the skins off the tomatoes, and they then they passed uh, the tomatoes through a passatuto, come questo qua, and got rid of the um, seeds. And then other bottles they did like I'm doing here. I'm using this method, I, I, you know, I like the skins and the seeds in there, and I also think they help to preserve them. If you are jarring or bottling tomatoes for the first time, uh, try cutting all of them in half and the color should be uniform. The smell should be um, crisp, acidic, sweet, totally tomato. In the Abruzzo region of Italy where I was born and growing up with mom and dad as a kid in Massachusetts, um, we had tomato sauce at least twice a week. Friday night, a very simple one with just uh, olive oil and a little garlic and then tomato to capture that tomato, the essence of the tomato flavor, and on Sundays perhaps with a little bit of um, meat or something. The pot is getting full. Um, so it's almost started to boil. Well, actually it has. And in a little while I'm going to fill it, remove the cover, and let it reduce. If there's any doubt, throw it out. I don't like the way that piece looks, so it's going to be gone. I uh, put all my waste in a container like this, and I just add it to the garden and work it into the soil. One of these last tomatoes, even though it was firm on the outside, is totally mushy on the inside, so that's definitely going out, without a doubt. And this is the waste again from the, all the tomatoes. I'd say uh, about 100, maybe 110 tomatoes today. This has almost come to a boil, so just keep your eye on 
where the top is, I'd say it's going to reduce about an inch. Uh, and with a ladle, you can uh, scoop in here and see how much water. Right now there's quite a bit of water, so I'm, I want some of that to reduce out. And I'd say in about an hour, I'll taste it and probably add, well definitely add some salt and I may add some sugar if it's more acidic than sweet. This is um, again September 2020, uh, the tomatoes aren't as really red 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 as they were uh, late August, uh, I'm sorry late July, August, so I may have to add a little bit of sugar and I'm going to add some basil as well. The, uh, the heavy lifting part of our task is over. Um, the tomatoes are boiling at a low heat, reducing, and you want to keep your work area impeccably clean. It's time to have a cocheto, a fernet branca with a couple of fresh figs from the yard. And while the tomatoes are boiling and reducing, you can uh, prepare your bottles. I like to rinse them in a um, maida. It's the same stuff I use to sterilize all my winemaking equipment. It's six tablespoons of potassium metabisulfite dissolved in a gallon of lukewarm water. And you can use it over and over again until it gets cloudy. And that's what I'm going to be doing while the tomatoes continue to reduce. Salute! Yeah, tomatoes have reduced about half an inch. I'm going to boil them about another half an hour. A lot of that orange foam has dissipated, as has the water. I tasted it. It's um, not, not, not as sweet as they were earlier in the year. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. And for this amount of tomato sauce, I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. Um, I'm guessing that I'm going to fill about between 20 and 30 bottles depending on the size. I have small, medium and large. So I'm adding uh, about 25 or 30 pieces of basil which I've rinsed a couple times the last time with white vinegar. I'm going to pat them dry, put everything in there, the salt, the sugar, the basil, let it uh, continue to reduce another half hour and then I'm going to jar them. Now at the same time I have to eat something because it's almost lunchtime. so a little bit of wine, a little sausage, cheese, crackers and some uh, more figs from the backyard. The jars have been sterilized with that potassium metabisulfite blend with water as have the covers. So I'm just going to let them dry out and you can see the potassium metabisulfite mixture here is still nice and clear so I can use that again and uh, it's wine making season pretty soon so I'll be using it for that. Quasi pronto per imbottigliare. About 15 minutes to go. So, piglia una bella patella come questa. Fill it one third with water. Low heat. Put your jars in there. Bring it to a boil. You have all your equipment ready. It's nice to have a couple of funnels like this. A larger one for the bigger bottles. A smaller one for the smaller ones. A ladle, of course. And a couple of tongs. You're going to fill the bottles with the tomatoes. They're going to be hot, so you may need the tongs to, you know, get them all. You screw the cover on, but I'll show you that in a second. Mm, and it tastes really good, too. I forgot to say that when you work with this potassium metabisulfite mixture, you need to have a lot of ventilation. Um, it can take your breath away, but not in a good way. It also pits stainless steel, so you don't want it to sit in there for a long time. As soon as the water comes to a boil, the bottles will start rattling and then you can fill them up. I wear a pair of glasses just in case the bottle breaks, but it's never happened. But you have to boil the water and put the jars in there because you're putting all this hot sauce in there. So I try to get um, a piece of basil into each bottle, if possible, and that's not that hard to do. Once they're full like that, just about to the top, maybe, I don't know, a third of an inch or, yeah, maybe less, you can put the lid on 
Just uh, screw it on a few times. You should be able to lift it out with your hands. If not, you can use the tongs you have and then put the bottle on a towel. Put the towel in your hand, put the bottle right on that towel and then just tighten the top. And then bring them over. I lay a towel out like this and I just put the bottles on that towel and then I cover them up so they stay warm. You might hear the lids pop once in a while as they seal. Thirty-one jars, not bad for a day's work. Cover the tomato jars with a towel like this to keep them warm and slowly but surely you'll hear the lids pop as they seal. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.